Welcome guys to the final episode of my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Over a hundred hours later, 46 episodes, it's time to end this. Aerith is killed by Sephiroth in a very confusing series of events, images, timelines, wibbly wobbly, and we are deep in a fight against Sephiroth. Everyone's helping out, even Zack, which was awesome. It is time for one last showdown and then the ending. Let's see how this is all gonna end. Enjoy, guys. There you are. Sephiroth! Healing, I'm gonna heal me. Aerith. Let's end this together. I must admit. Don't underestimate my Aerith! Okay. I saw what you did back there, Paul. Thank you. Take me later. This ain't over. Right. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah! Uh. Let's do this. <laughs> Unable to read. <laughs> okay. Here it comes. Okay. Keep it together. Here goes. Shall I sever your fate? Here. 
I got this. 
We're in battle. I don't know. God, that was so. Mm, what the hell? He cheated. What a cheater! You gotta that's be it? kidding me! He still ain't dead. That was some bullshit. There you are. Sephiroth! Tagging out. I'll show you what I can do. You're up. I don't care if it's three against one. Four against one if you count sleep near. Why don't you leave the way? Back up. I'm coming. Darkness falls. Oh, God. What to do? Come 
on. If we could just stagger him one more time, I think we could win. It's on you. I'm coming. Shall I give you despair? <laughs> tried to have like atb ready but once he starts you like there's no warning okay so so i need to be like full health when he's done with that when the bar runs out or i need to cancel it but i don't know like if I have full health, am I going to survive? Me. Or how do I cancel it? Because I tried to attack him and I just can't hit. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Fuck. Elixir? Let's try to be careful. Okay, we gotta try again for the Phoenix down. Darkness falls. Oh my fucking god. You are bullshit! Well, figures it would end like this. Again. 
I guess I was just supposed to try to kill him before he could use that stuff. And he just flies away! <laughs> Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. back alone, aren't I? Aerith, wake up.
Why are they making this so hard to understand? Can't stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. I don't... This is so confusing. I'll see you off. <sighs> Only he can see her. Tifa, come on. to admit you were quite the man who me <laughs> I guess not anyway you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf have you I have so many questions failed to show at an important event made us look like fools maybe he wouldn't have if you'd spent some money on that set Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. How very astute. Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. A father's dream, accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> But an imitation is all you deserve. In the back, just like old times.
couldn't have dreamt that. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again? Nibelheim the next day. I don't know, guys. I just feel confused. A wee bit higher. Screw you, cat. How's this? No shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. It's not fair. Oh, Tifa. And this game is beautiful. One sec. What? You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine. But don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> Trust you. I don't know if you should. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it.
Take care. You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. It's beautiful. Goodbye. Life passing me by, not thinking how the years have flown until I met you. I won't say that it was fake. Oh, my goodness. When I can put over one hundred hours in a video game while I'm streaming it while being constantly rushed and pressured to play my favorite game when are you gonna play this game when are you gonna play that game it's saying a lot it's saying a lot it's saying a lot about how much I enjoyed this game I was in a rush to see it end I wanted to do a lot of the side content most of it not all of it but most of it I'm gonna try to keep this short, but I do feel like I could talk about this game for hours and hours. This was a beautiful reimagining of the events and the areas, landscapes, music of Final Fantasy VII, the original game, which we all love near and dear to our hearts so much. The characters were amazing. We got to see Kate Sith, we got to see Sid, we got to see Vincent, and I just want to say that while of course Cloud, Tifa, Barrett, and Aerith are all wonderful, wonderfully written, lots of depth, the voice acting spot on, I want to highlight just how fun Yuffie, Red 13, and Kate Sith's characters are in this remake. They're so good. So good. They just brought me a lot of joy. All three of them. The combat was super amazingly fun. I loved playing as all of the characters. Everybody has something they can bring to the table. Their playstyle is so unique. I am completely blown away by the sheer amount of unique songs, music there is in this game. They have so many new and old songs they have exploration or walking around and then the battle theme of that we got a battle theme of like hollow skies just everything was so cool and the different environments like the different um areas that we explored from the grasslands to corral to gungaga and on and on and on they were all so beautiful everything was beautiful i loved exploring i really loved completing the tasks in the uh, world intel my favorite area was gungaga it was the most beautiful i would love to take a walk through the jungle as long as no frogs attack me 
the music just made my soul happy and it was a little bit confusing trying to get to some of the places it was a little bit frustrating but it was also kind of fun i love the village of gungaga too i loved how quiet secluded peaceful it was a very like tight-knit little community <sighs> what else i guess we could talk about the ending the ending left me very confused and a little bit maybe i don't want to say disappointed but maybe i was hoping for like a very intense emotional thing of like Aerith dies or Aerith is saved or just something where I could just really get in my feels that's what I was expecting and I didn't really get that because I was just kind of confused and that's probably just my fault for being confused but I was like I didn't know what was going on and I I still don't I think w nobody can really say for sure like it's all just speculation is cloud just seeing Aerith? is she actually there in some kind of form like th living on through the life force or through like different timelines or something like that is it Genova appearing to cloud as Aerith? like i've heard some theories and well i'm just really anxious to see where they're going with this i think they really did a good job of kind of setting up some unease like what is going on this feels weird this is different i think keeping us who know and are familiar with the story on our toes and doing unexpected things is a really nice touch that they're doing with this remake and leaving us with this sense of confusion and unsure of where things are gonna go i think is a good move and it's kind of like a lot of people said right after i finished uh the game and we were talking during the credits and stuff people were saying i didn't really like the ending at first but the more i think about it or the more i see it the more i like it and i feel like that's true for me as well and that whole sequence starting with like the genova fight to like where when Zack comes in and then like all our team is fighting against Sephiroth and then Aerith and Cloud at the end. That whole, that was amazing. That was so good. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's just the whole game. Oh, what do you guys think? What did you guys think of the ending? And how excited are you for part three? Do you guys think we're gonna get a DLC? I heard that they're gonna be doing DLCs for for some of the characters. Maybe we'll get like a, a Sid or a Vincent DLC? Like, what do you guys think? A Cisne DLC would be really cool. Can we have that? Yes, Cisne DLC. Thank you guys for watching this playthrough. We have more Final Fantasy coming on the channel. Final Fantasy 12, uh, the Zodiac Age is coming later this year final fantasy 5 is coming later this year first time i'll be playing either of those and of course when part 3 comes out i will be all over it but that's gonna be a few years from now unfortunately i'll try not to explode from anticipation if you guys liked the video and want more people to be able to see the video please consider liking the video and leaving a comment with a heart or something like that and i will see you guys in the next playthrough thank you so much you guys are awesome bye bye